This short video presents a guide to finding primary sources in history. A primary source is a document or physical object which was written or created during the time under study. These sources provide direct or first-hand evidence about a historical event. Examples of primary sources include speeches, letters, personal narratives, interviews, and newspaper articles, as well as oral histories, documents, videos, and maps. Most of the primary sources you'll find through Booth Library will have been published in books, as articles, or on video. In addition, the library subscribes to some online collections with digitized primary sources that are unpublished, like letters, pamphlets, photos, and postcards. Next, I'll move over to the library's website and show you how to locate them. Let's start by looking for primary sources published in books. From the library's homepage, click on the Books and Movies tab in the center, and then choose Advanced Search. Suppose you are looking for correspondence written by Samuel Pepys, the author of the famous 17th century diary. For the sake of clarity, I'm typing in his name in the first box and correspondence in the second box with the word and selected between them. Then click on find. Capitalization doesn't matter. Here are the results. If you try the search for yourself, you'll find some hard copy of books further down in the list. But here, the first three items are public domain electronic resources from the Hathi Trust Digital Repository. These books are old enough to be out of copyright, so you can read them in full online. Here's another search, this time for personal narratives about the U.S. Civil War. Note how United States is spelled out in full. This will give the most precise results. Within the search results, look for limiters on the right. For example, you can limit the search to specific genres or to ebooks only. If you're an off-campus student living outside of Coles County, you can place requests for any print books to be checked out and mailed to you. Keep your keywords simple and focused for the best results. Here's a list of keywords you may find useful when searching for different types of primary sources. The library subscribes to many databases with primary sources. Choose Databases from the Articles tab on the home page. To access any subscription databases from off-campus, type in your EIU NetID and password when requested. Some other databases are available for free online and don't need a login. From the drop-down menu, choose Pre-1950 Full Text. Many databases with the text or images from primary source materials can be found here, including historical newspapers like the Chicago Tribune, New York Times, and the Times of London, old magazines in the American Periodical Series and British Periodicals collections, documents and other writings in the Black Thought and Culture database, and digitized images of books from 15th to 17th century England and more in early English books online. The contents of these collections can be searched, browsed, printed, and saved. The library also has older video clips online. Back on the home page, choose Streaming Video from the Books and Movies tab. The American History and Video link offers many news clips from historical events, including old news reels and interviews with notable figures. Secondary sources such as documentaries are mixed in there too. Lastly, check out digital collections from the homepage for many locally created primary source images. Here, you can view digital collections made available via member libraries in the Carley Consortium. The Booth Library Postcard Collection is useful for research into Illinois towns and buildings, and you'll also find primary sources for local theater in EIU's own history. Thanks for watching this video. Please contact us with questions about any library resources or services.